Greetings dear friends, I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Citroën C5. The system pump located in a niche on the right mud card of the engine compartment fails over time due to a clogged drainage niche. With some skill and skillful hands the system is quite amenable to restoration, but requires timely preventive repair. If everything is done well then it pleases with the high quality work, although the handling of the car is little specific. If the previous owner was an adherent of the philosophy still looks like, then the buyer will have grief with the probability of 146%. Repair cost can easily exceed 100 or 2000 rubles, if the service is greedy or stubbornly puts everything new. In addition to the hydraulics itself, the cut apparatus of the suspensions, which I mentioned in passing at the beginning, also requires attention. At the front, everything is quite reliable and simple, but at the rear, the trailing arm is attached using a roller bearing and damage to the anthers leads to its chipping. The bearing itself is not that expensive to replace, but a damaged bearing quickly kills the seating surfaces. The car steering is strong enough. Before styling cars with a conventional power steering pump, everything is fine. The resource of the rail is stable, over 200,000, and it is not prone to leaks and knocks. The tubes of the system are brought in more often, they corrode and leak. The system uses a common hydraulic circuit with a suspension and there is a liquid level sensor. After restyling, the cars have an eager, the pump has become electric and much more sensitive to the temperature in the circuit and the state of the liquid. Moreover, when replacing the LDS in the main circuit, they often forget to change it in the power steering system, although for this it is enough to turn the steering wheel so that the old dirty liquid merges. The pump has good sound insulation and its hole is heard only just before death, so it is better not to forget about its maintenance. In addition to purely mechanical causes of wear, there are also electrical ones. It happens that the contact in the already mentioned long suffering BSM unit burn out, and the pump firing harness is also rubbed with the washer reservoir. Due to its unsuccessful lower attachment, it slightly changes position, touches the harness and dirt and vibrations gradually finish off the wiring over several months or years. The C5 is always front-wheel drive, but there are many different gearboxes. Let's start with the mechanics. Gasoline cars with engines 1.8 and 2.0, as well as Yonor 90 horsepower diesels 2.0, rely on manual gearboxes of the BE4 5G series. With the 3-liter gasoline engines, as well as powerful diesels 2.0 and 2.2, a stronger ML5 canyon manual gearbox goes before restyling and after restyling a 6-speed ML6C. There are no bad and good series, there are no special problems with any MCP. As that 6-speed gearboxes come with a 2-mass flywheel and it has a limited resource and the price is rather big, for 50,000 rubles. Otherwise, if you monitor the oil level and change it at least sometimes, then boxes up to 250 per 100,000 runs do not create hassle. The wear of the synchronizer is not particularly noticeable, there are also very few broken differentials. With automatic transmissions, everything is much more fun. The junior cars, petrol 1.8 and 2.0, as well as all diesels 2.0, actually have a French AL4 box. The diesel 2.2, as well as the gasoline V6 3.0, before restyling the German ZF 4HP20, and after restyling the so-called AM6, which is actually the Japanese icing TS80SC. Boxes of foreign origin of all types on the C5 are rare due to the low prevalence of powerful modifications, so the main automatic transmission on the Citroen C5 is a legendary AL4, a relative of the DPO DP8 on Renault. This electronically controlled 4-speed automatic transmission has proven to be very long-lasting, not because of its own standing merit, but because PSA are so cheap. The box holds the moment up to 200-210 nm, is very sensitive to overheating and doesn't differ in dynamics, efficiency or smooth operation. In addition, the cooling system on this automatic transmission is routinely made in the form of a heat exchanger with insufficient performance for typical urban modes in our country and the maintenance interval for completely unsuitable for operating conditions. All this together provides only 80 120,000 km of relatively trouble-free operation and then jerks, repairs and other problems. The essence of all the troubles is overheating, as well as the sensitivity of hydraulics to it and to the purity of the oil. At the same time, the torque converter intensively wears out the blocking linings and contaminates the oil. The filter doesn't cope with its work, it quickly clogs up and a lot of dirt set settles in the heat exchanger. It itself costs about 11,000 new, so it is rarely changed and flushing is not effective. 
Overheating, dirt and a drop in pressure due to a dirty filter start the cycle of problems with the solenoids and valve body. Usually everything ends with the gearbox bushings pulled up or the valve body not working due to contamination. In case of serious overheating, the valve body plate simply bends and all seals stop working. After all these horrors, it will be funny for you to hear that the mechanical part of the automatic transmission is generally very successful, so if you provide clean oil and its temperature around 85 degrees, then the resource can exceed 300,000, and this at a very low cost of repair. In reality, almost all of the old AL4 boxes are already at least killed or just dying. Long warm-ups in the morning and similar entertainments can only delay the death of the unit for another tens or two thousand, and replacing the solenoids can make the valve body still flounder if the box was clogged with debris. An external radiator and an external filter of the box, together with an oil change every 20-30 thousand kilometers, can work a miracle, but very few owners bother with this immediately after repair. There is little information about the 4-stage ZF 4HP20. Despite its German origin, it is mainly found on relatively powerful French cars with V6, Peugeot 406 and 605, Renault Safrain and Laguna, as well as Alfa Romeo 166 and other modules that are found piece by piece in Russia. Perhaps the most common carrier of the 4HP20 is the first-generation Mercedes Vito. The maximum digestible moment of these boxes is 330 nm, which is enough for the C5 with the margin. In Ronette, little is known about the box. European sources point to relatively regular failures of the control unit and solenoids. The reasons for the later are a short circuit of, or destruction of the wiring, as well as corrosion of the plungers and wear of the return spring. Apparently, the chance to find a live version of such a box is higher than, the, than for AL4, but finding components for repair can be difficult due to the significantly smaller circulation. In general, this is quite strong by the standards of modern 6-speed automatic transmissions, but it requires clean oil, frequent oil changes and good cooling. Unlike the AIL4, during quiet operation it works at regular replacement intervals and with a standard cooling system for a long time and well. The main thing is not to forget that abnormal operation mode also requires abnormal maintenance. Well, if we manage to get rid of then also keep in mind that this series of automatic transmissions is several times more expensive to repair than the old 4-stage ones. The engines on the Citroën C5 do not have any common problems. The cooling system is well laid down and the huge fan does a good job for cooling. True, after restyling in the framework of greening the engines, the operating temperature was raised and control thermostats were introduced. As a result, the rubber components of the cooling system have a noticeably shorter service life, but still there were no particular problems with it. Weak coils, lambda probes and wiring of gasoline engines, as well as specific software and the anti-pollution fault error often lights up for unknown reasons are a bit of a hassle, but even without the air dealer scanner the problem is usually easy to localize and fix. The main engines on the C5 are EW series in line force, 1.8 are EW7, 6FZ, 6FY and 2.0 are EW10, RFJ, RFN. Diesels are represented by the DW10 family. Less common are EW10 engines with direct injection, the extremely unsuccessful are LZ, as well as 3.0 ES9 series engines and 2.2 diesel engines. In theory, there is also a 1.6 series DV6 diesel engine, but in practice it is almost impossible to buy a car with it. The C5 has no frankly unsuccessful engines, except for the EW10 with direct injection. All of them are quite resourceful, well arranged, have no unsolvable problems with maintenance and repair, but the nuances as always are there. The EW10 EW7 family is generally quite conservative, in line 4 with all aluminum block and cast iron sleeves, a timing belt, conventional injection on most modifications, hydraulic lifters and a 16 well cylinder head. Before installing they didn't even have a phase regulator, after an update a phase regulator was added on the intake shaft and the aforementioned adjustable thermostat. Of the potential problem areas, we can only mention the plastic intake manifold, but even it is made reliably and doesn't cause trouble. With good maintenance, motors can go through 300-500 thousand mileage before overhaul, but more often it all ends with a progressive oil burner with slightly lower runs due to poor quality service. The main problems are oil leaks through the cylinder head cover gasket, which leads not only to its burnout and heating the exhaust manifold, but also to the death of the ignition coils. The old seals do not differ in particular of durability, but more reliable ones can be supplied with the next replacement of the timing. 
An EW motor is the case when it's not too liquid, that is harmful, but on the secondary to viscous oil, the oil pump doesn't cope. 10W inventor for it is already thick, especially if your region has less than 20 degrees below zero. These engines also have a secondary air system and EGR, which also contribute to the list of mining troubles. Plus, the engine is noisy and there are often complaints about an uneven idle on the cold one. All appetite is more common in later versions of thermostat-controlled engines, but in general it is a sign of prolonged operation at high temperatures with dirty radiators. When changing the oil less than once every 10,000, it begins to manifest itself with runs of 150 to 100,000 and usually ends with the bulkhead of the motor. In most cases, the wear of the piston group is minimal, there are no problems with oil pressure, but the oil scrapper rings are buried, and the valve sealers die, providing increased wear of the guides. With the use of high-quality oils, reduced maintenance intervals, successful operating modes or refinement of the cooling system, this problem doesn't exist even with runs far beyond 300,000. Often, at the initial stage, it can even be successfully cured by decoking. Direct injection 2.0 engines with 140 horsepower should be avoided. The experience with the introduction of fuel injection pumps on gasoline engines was recognized as unsuccessful very quickly, and the progressive modification was discontinued two years later. There was a reason. Starting performance suffered, fuel consumption turned out to be even higher in practice, plus uneven thrust and cylinder head corrosion, resource of the timing belt and the cost is quite high. The 3-liter V6 ES9 series is another joint development with Renault at this time. Unlike the AL4 machine, it is very successful. The motor is also belt-driven with phase shifters on the intake cam shafts. It is poorly distributed, but the reviews are mostly extremely positive, except that oil flows from the seals and the consumption is high, which is quite expected. Diesel engines 2.0 DW10 are also very good. Versions with Bosch fuel equipment, it also happens from Siemens, but it's not found on the C5, are doubly good. Typical problems are perhaps the problematic crankshaft damper and the high cost of fuel equipment, relevant for 250 plus mileage. Also, the motor doesn't like to operate on the fly. If it is not turned and the oil is pretty thinner, then there is likelihood of tearing the liners. The rest is an almost perfect diesel engine. Versions with the particulate filter VAP are expected to be more problematic and the system itself in our conditions is expensive to maintain, but collective farm problems are solved inexpensively. The 2.2 DW12 series of motors is a little more, more troublesome. There are balance shafts that swirl proprietary system for adjusting the intake tract with vacuum operated flaps as no longer very reliable when motors are more than 6-8 years old and they are more sensitive to oil pressure. But in general, all good words about the DW10 motors can be said about them. On this information, both the problems of Citroën C5 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.